What's up, it's Robert. And if you've ever taken a psychology class, you've heard of Pavlovian conditioning, which is where the dog salivates when you ring the bell. All right, it's a good example, but it's, it's laboratory psychology. I do real life practical psychology. So the example from my life is that the mortgage company sent me this, uh, this debit card, prepaid debit card a couple months ago with $500 on it. It was like a reward program or something. But this card can be used only at specific stores, one of them being CVS, the, uh, the pharmacy. So here I am trying to spend down this card. And basically, I spend a lot of it on energy drinks at CVS. But towards the end, as this is running out of money, I realized that every time I pass a CVS, I get this like reflex to go in and buy an energy drink, but that there's no more money on this now. But I still have the reflex. And so that was a reminder, once again, of the power of conditioning. Another example, this one time I took like a very um, important or you could say emotionally uh, riveting phone call. And I took this phone call in the parking lot of like a, a Bed Bath & Beyond store. And so every time that I go back to this store, as soon as I drive into the parking lot, like my, my memories are triggered of this phone call. And it's so trippy because I'm like, man, like that is a strong association. And uh, I'm like, my, my mind is hijacked. Like, my, like I didn't choose to have that association. It just, that's, that's just what happened. So, okay, that's all fine and good. If you follow me, then, then, then we're on the right track. Now, where I want to take this is, what if you could choose the associations that make up your mind. So for example, um, early on when I was starting this business, I was trying to like spend time working on it from home, but as you can imagine, too many distractions. Plus I'm not in work mode when I'm at home. So then I went to the library, but even at the library, I had way too many mental associations to the days when I was in school and just memorizing things, stuffing my mind with uh, irrelevant facts, ready to spit back during the next exam. So, so that wasn't working either. I, I needed to be in like produce mode. I didn't need to be in like stuff my stuff my mind mode. So then I started renting an office like this, right? And once I did that, like my productivity just skyrocketed. And why was that? It was because of the association, right? I had a new environment and I was able to build an association from scratch. I was able to choose what I naturally was inclined to do. Okay, so that raises an important question. Um, not just in the practical sense of, oh, do I need to rent an office now if, if I want to get something done? No, in the bigger sense of if it's the case that we can, we can sort of design these mental associations, these environmental triggers, if we can choose the behavior that's triggered by certain environments, I mean, what does that have to say about our freedom to create who we are? Right? And so that's, that's where this gets existential here. Because remember, existence first means you exist first. You make your decisions, you design like who you want to be, and then that defines who you are. It's not the other way around. So you're not born, you're not stuck with all of these associations. And so the, all these excuses kind of go out the window. The excuses, oh yeah, well, I would go to the gym, but you know, it's really hard. I'm just, when I'm at home, I'm not in the mood. I'm like, why don't you put your, your gym shoes, why don't you like put them near the bed or something so that you see the shoes and you're triggered to put them on and go to the gym. You know what I mean? So if, if we can start designing our whole environment, which then in turn 
designs our actions, our behaviors, then I think at that point we really, we're really starting to enter the realm of choosing who we are. All right, that's all for today. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and if this was helpful, um, or if a friend would benefit, then share this with a friend. Last but not least, put your existence first.